this man is well known, but not for his racing prowess. Three-time AFL Premiership player Jason Akamanis has joined the Mini Challenge this weekend, the Western Bulldogs superstar. He's going to start from last, but he's actually been really, really impressive this weekend. For a footballer, he's done an excellent job, but as you said, qualifying was a really good session, really close, and Todd Fiore managed to get pole. It was wet, so it was difficult. Neil McFadden is starting from sixth. He's the championship leader. Jason Barguana from seventh. He's on a roll. He's won eight races in a row, but he's got 50 kilograms of success ballast, so he's really up against it, Barg, this weekend. Stuart Appleby, eight-time PGA Tour winner, is in the Uberstar car, so golf and AFL on the final row of the grid. 16 cars for the Mini Challenge. There's Stuart behind the wheel of the Uberstar car that just about everyone's had a drive of this year. Yeah, it's great to see two, uh, you know, a golfer and an AFL player out here mixing it up. Shows that they're pretty keen about their racing in their cars and they've both actually done a pretty good job. Less than a, a, only uh, just one second off the pace. Hang on cars. a second. Was that Acker in the background there firing onto the grass? It could have There been. was a car just taking off right behind Stuart Appleby. I reckon Acker was trying to warm the tyres and has ended up straight onto the infield. There he is. What on earth is going on here? He talks the talk, but he's not walking the walk. Have a look at the rear of it. It's punched the rear window out. That is really, really strange. He's ended up on the infield over towards the other part of the racetrack that runs parallel. Bit of damage on the rear wing. The car may have even gone over onto its roof. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to say what's happened there to Jason, but um, hopefully he's all, all is well. Well, he's just trying to get some tyre temperature in the warm-up. Here we go. He's already off the road, barrel rolling. Now, I know Ackermanis likes to get headlines, but this is going too far. I've seen him, unbelievable. I've seen him do the handstand on the ground before. Here we go. I'm not sure what he's trying to do here. He's just lost it. And it's dug in. And the Bulldog has been bitten and barrel rolled it. Now, Rodney E gave him the all-clear to come and do this, but I don't think he expected that something like that could happen. No, it doesn't look like he was doing anything drastically wrong. He was just uh, weaving and getting the tyres warm, which is what we do in every category before a race, get a lot of t try and get some temperature into the tyres. And uh, unfortunately, it's just bitten in and put him on the wet grass, and the rest was history. So while Jason Ackermanis licks his wounds, the field is delayed for the start. We'll get racing in the mini challenge after the break.